Welcome back to another episode. My name is Sam Sobey. Uh, thank you so much for taking time out of your day to sit down and watch this cool video. Um, I'm fishing, yet kind of not fishing with a good buddy today. A couple of videos ago, I fished a tournament with my old fishing partner, Connor Graham. He's actually out here on this lake right now. He has a tournament coming up, and he's like, yo, dude, hop in my boat. And then I like vacuum the old red rocket last night, and I got her looking all pretty, and I'm like, man, I, I just gotta take the red rocket out tomorrow. So, Connor's out here. I'm out here. I'm gonna be kind of helping him do some pre-fishing. He's a super good tournament angler, and uh, he's got a big tournament coming up here. So I'm gonna poke around, tell him what I find. I'm probably not gonna find anything that's gonna help him, but I'm out here, I'm fishing, and it's gonna be a great day. So I'm on a pretty popular lake uh, in Minnesota, that being Lake Minnetonka. It's just a bunch of different lakes that are kind of chained together to make one giant mecca lake that um, basically gets flooded with fishermen, skiers, boaters, tubers, and uh, everything in between. So it's a really cool lake. Luckily, it's not a weekend, so the boat traffic shouldn't be too bad. And um, yeah, this is basically a largemouth dominated lake. But in the spring, sometimes, uh, there's giant smallies that come out to play. So it'd be awesome to get a giant smallie. If not, we'll just be going for some larger today. So stay tuned, strap in. I'm excited about this day, and uh, I haven't fished here in a long, long time. So we'll see what we figure out. Stay tuned. You won't be pissed. There we go, fish on. Just a little guy on the chatterbait. Okay, they're seeing it, they're liking it. Number one. Alrighty, I'm gonna switch things up to the chatterbait. On the back of the chatterbait, I'm throwing a 4.5 tactical minnow, Smalley Magic. It's like pearl mixed with kind of a green and gold and brown and it's super sick. On the back of a chatterbait, that tiny tail on the back just like flaps all over when the blade like when the blade wobbles back and forth. So oh, it's just um, it looks really good in the water. Hopefully it catches fish. That doesn't mean it's gonna catch fish, but I'm just saying I'd eat it. I would. I'd definitely eat it. Fish on. Fish on on the chatter bug. Just a cutie, just a cutie. See you, buddy. There he is, there's my buddy Connor. Tell me, how's your day going? It's good, it's kind of slow. Um, in four days, water temperature dropped 15 degrees out here. The reason I'm not fishing with Connor today is A, because I woke up a bit late. B, I vacuumed Red Rock yesterday. I'm like, I need to get in it. And C, I just, I, I woke up late and I'm sorry. <laughs> so, good. good luck today. I'll check in with you multiple times throughout the day. Can you put fish in live oil yet? No. Oh, we could break that. I'm just kidding. <laughs> All right, so send pictures, send snaps if you get any big ones. And um, yeah, let's get it. Okay. Let's get it. Well, <laughs> oh, that was surprisingly pretty freaking bumpy, boys. That was pretty freaking bumpy. That's okay. Bumpy's not always bad. There we go, fish on. On the little swim bait. What do we have here? Oh, good fish. Get in here, oh, it's a small. Oh, that's sick. It's a good smallie. Super cool, I found some really clear water. It's got a bunch of rocks on it, and I'm like, I could see smallies bedding here. So I took, brought out like a little Kitex swim bait, started throwing that around, and heck, it's a pretty freaking nice smallie. This is probably an 18 inch smallie. Nice. All right, I'm gonna release the sucker, so cool. I was not expecting to catch a smallie today. <laughs> see you, buddy. All right, this looks like smallie territory, and sure enough, throw on just a small like all-terrain tackle swim bait head, and a little Kitek in the back, and that did him dirty. <laughs> I wonder if there's more here. Here we go, fish on. Still there? Yeah, freaking snaky pike. Oh, don't eat my swim bait. Don't. Just a greasy little snake. See you, buddy. 
still fun, still fun to catch. I love catching pike, even though they're just greasers, because they fight so dang hard. Here we go, fish on, another pike. But it's another pike, or it's a good fish. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What do we got? Oh no, it's a bass. It's a bass. Decent margie. That's a better bass. This is a pre-spawn fish, I can tell. Look how short and chunky she is. Nice. Ate the old Kitek. Oh, okay. They're liking swim bait today. Not a big fish, but so fat and chunky. Cool. Fish on, better fish, better fish, better fish, better fish. Oh gosh, better fish. Totally better fish. I'm gonna flip him, I think. I'm gonna flip him, nice. That's a nice fish. Oh, <laughs> boom. Ate the chatterbug. Back off here really quick. <laughs> Very cool. That's a good fish. That's probably maybe three pounds, maybe right under. I don't know, either way. That is a healthy, healthy, gorgeous fish. we get her right back. Okay, so I was fishing this big weed flat out there. I caught a pike and I caught like a small, chunky pre-spawn fish and it led right back into kind of just this tiny cut. All right, a little midday update. Um, I've caught one smallie, a few largies on like a little Kitek swim bait all-terrain tackle um, swim bait head other than that it's basically just been chatter bait some swim jig uh, I really don't know what else to do I'm just gonna kind of keep looking through cuts going in different areas and um, yeah keep throwing moving baits like there's so much water out here I just I just want to cover water so let's cover some more water and um, uh, maybe we can get a good one v8 original vegetable juice I uh, impact too much food I keep some of these in the boat just because they're kind of filling. They're pretty tasty. What up, broski? Hey. You catching any? Yeah, I got on them decent now. But... You did? Yeah, I caught a five. Uh, I caught a couple more. I don't know. I, I found like a couple docks and, and channels that were deeper and had I, like a school of fish on them pretty much. So I would hit two casts in a row on the same dock. I would leave after that. Um, and then I'll catch them. Um, and then I went out on a big flat and started catching a couple uh, like two pounders on a chatterbait. But deeper docks seem to be the deal. Deeper docks, yeah, like, yeah, not on the main lake though. I like didn't channel. Yeah. Yeah. But Did you not catch the deal? Just some of yeah. I mean, it's still not good, but. Uh, but this lake is. I'm cursed at this lake. <laughs> <laughs> spend time on it. I know, dude. Alrighty. Uh, bye, bud. Happy days. Bye, bye. Another little stinker. Come on, four pounder. Come on, four pounder. Four pounder, four pounder. Alrighty guys, that wraps it up. We are, um, oh, that's not good. Just wrapped up Lake Minnetonka. Um, this lake is incredible. If you live anywhere near here, I recommend coming out here. 
Uh, there's just, it's just chock full of fish, you know what I mean? There's a bunch of big fish too. I didn't stumble across any fours or fives, but god dang it, they're out there. There's like so many of them out there. And um, it's cool, it's just like a whole chain of lakes. And uh, on the weekends, it gets a little rowdy, but um, other than that, it's an amazing, amazing fishery. So thank you guys so much for watching all the way to the end of the video. I've got some really cool plans in store. I might connect with a few different people. A few people might visit Minnesota and I might take them out. Uh, either way, I'm just, I'm super pumped. So thank you so much again. I guess there's nothing left to be said. And then um, stay tuned and as always, let the adventure begin.